Also tonight, three children who officials say were kidnapped by their non custodial parents are now making their way back to Indiana. Yeah, they were last seen a week ago before officials found them 1200 miles away from Indiana last night in Texas. Yeah, Fox 59's Max Lewis explains how detectives say they were able to track them down. Those three children were kidnapped during a supervised visit here at this restaurant on the northwest side. Court documents reveal that during a brief moment alone, the parents snuck them out a side door and were planning to take them to Mexico. The children walked out safely in the arms of police Tuesday night after a multi-hour standoff with authorities in Texas. Police say their parents, Jessica and Willie Terrell, barricaded themselves and their children inside a motel room after a local sheriff's deputy tried to pull over the car they were driving. They were able to utilize the Texas Rangers, several other entities in that uh, area, and safely negotiate a means to getting the children out of the hotel room safely as, as well as the parents. The nearly weeks long search began on the 4th of July when the Terrells took their children from this restaurant. IMPD says there was an added urgency to this case when detectives learned that the children needed medication that they didn't have and that in the past they had been neglected and malnourished while in their parents care. We care about all children and in this instance this was not right and that's what we cared about. The next day a silver alert was issued but the big break came on Monday when police were able to listen in on a phone call between Willie Terrell and a therapist in which he said he was taking the children to Mexico and they were nearing the southern border. The FBI then was able to ping Terrell's phone to more than a thousand miles away in Columbus, Texas. Another ping yesterday showed them in Purcell, Texas where authorities moved in. Police also crediting tips from the community for getting the best ending possible. That's what made this possible and we never stopped asking and the community didn't stop giving. Warrants have been issued for both the parents and the extradition process is underway to get them back here to Indiana. Tonight they are both facing three felony counts of interference with custody. In Indianapolis, I'm Max Lewis, Fox 59 News.